What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to restore your turn signals on your Mark III Supra. Actually this would apply to any car that has any type of plastic lens where it's a headlight, a turn signal, tail light, running light, whatever. Um, you can use this same exact method to get them looking new again. Instead of restoring the factory amber, USDM, and JDM turn signals today, I've got something special. So these are actually the turn signals that came factory on the Supras in the European domestic market or EDM market. These are super, super hard to find these days. I remember buying the set that's on my 89, actually brand new from Toyota when they were still available. These ones, it took me a long, long time to find a set for this car. Thank you, thank you so much, Landon, for hooking me up with these. I happened to catch him right after he posted them, I think within a few minutes. By the time he got back to me, he had like 10 people in his inbox trying to offer him more money, undercut him, like really who stand up these days anymore. Whatever happened to Dibs? And he still said, nope, you're first in line, hook me up with them. So man, I really appreciate it. And these are gonna look awesome. So let's get to it. and clean, ready for polishing because they can still look a lot better. I'm going to be using a buffing wheel and I always use mother's plastic polish. I've just kind of, there's a ton of stuff on the market. There's a lot of things that work well. I've just always used this and I found that it works really well on clear things like lenses as well as if you've got any like gloss black or uh, just solid colored trim. And you can basically use any kind of rotary tool. I always end up just going with a drill because it's a little bit easier and it's a lot lower speed than a die grinder or other air tool. It kind of goes for anything you're ever polishing, especially when you're using a rotary tool rather than an orbital, is it pays to just go slow and take your time. So I'm not sure how well you can tell on the camera how big of a difference this really made, but it's pretty dramatic. Uh, if you take a look at this one, this is the original one, it's pretty dull. Uh, whereas the one we polished right here is just crystal clear now. It's really awesome. So we're going to go ahead and swap them out and do the other one. So this project spanned a couple days. Typical dad life. You almost never get anything finished all in one shot. But I've got these all polished. You can see they, hopefully on that, you can see they look way better than they did when I started. And then next I cleaned them really, really good with just some dish soap. Anyone who's ever worked with any kind of polish, whether it's paint, plastic, whatever, you know that it makes an absolute mess and it gets everywhere. Last step, I'm just gonna Windex these because I was using kind of a waterless wash to clean it off in between and it does have a wax component. So I definitely don't want that on these if you just wanted to polish them and clean them up you could stop right there but i want to keep them looking new and the two biggest things that really damage these is one is oxidation and the second is going to be rock chips since they're right on the front of your vehicle so a couple things you can do to prevent one or both of those things if you just are worried about oxidation giving it a, a coat of any kind of wax will actually help if you want to go a step beyond that you can do like a sealant and if you want to even go beyond that you can use one of the uh, ceramic products that's made for your paint I want a little bit more than that because that really won't do anything against rock chips. So I am actually going to wrap these with a clear paint protective film. So there's a whole lot of products on the market that do this these days. Expel, SunTech, 3M, there's a whole bunch of new ones that I haven't even worked with or tried. I've always had really good luck with 3M for this. It's not my favorite when it comes to actual paint protection film because it's not the smoothest. Um, and you can definitely tell that it's on the vehicle, but it's very thick compared to some of the others, which is kind of a downside for paint because it shows up. Um, but when it comes to protection, it's awesome. And it does a great job of preventing rock chips on plastic like this. I went with this really small roll that's only six inches wide. I know I wouldn't have a lot of waste that way. So I'm gonna cut my length first, give myself a little bit extra. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half the whole way down. And you never want to get too close to your width just because if you cock it at all and you don't have that extra width, you're going to be off and you're going to waste a piece. Let's get started. Make sure you're... I always key off of the factory edge to make sure that you're uh, reasonably straight.
And on something narrow like this, you could you can just use your finger. I've also got this squeegee, which is about the right width. One last little thing is the uh, screw holes on this side you can see are recessed. So what you're gonna wanna do is cut all the way around it and just lay it down in there. So now if you can see that, it's all recessed again. So that's it, last step is we're gonna hit this with a little heat and try and get rid of some of these bubbles. So as you can see, you still wind up with some bubbles right around all the lettering from ways away you really can't tell. But it's a good trade off for me to not have to worry about rock chips or scuffing or oxidation on these. And if the film gets trashed, you just strip it right off and redo it. So I finally got the turn signals completely done. They're all polished, they look awesome. So now it's time to go ahead and change them out. To swap them, it's really, really easy. You just pull these two black little grills right here. There's two screws on the insides of the turn signals and there's two that are already exposed here on the outside. So let's just go ahead and get them swapped out. Well, that was easy. you guys but I've always preferred the look of these turn signals. We started out with a really good set here so it was really hard to see the dramatic difference that polishing can make because they really weren't that oxidized or hazy. So I went ahead and did a little experiment on the factory amber turn signals that were actually pretty badly oxidized so that I could show you guys the dramatic difference side by side. So here we go. So here you can see I got one of the uh, amber ones. I taped off a line here and I polished this half of the turn signal. I did not polish this one so that on that line you can really see the dramatic difference. Um, I only spent about literally maybe two minutes polishing this one. It was just a quick one to show you guys because I don't plan on running these. So, But it just shows you how dramatic of a difference this can make and how much you can really bring back on oxidized plastic. One last thing that I will show you guys that's an awesome tip for these grills. So these grills have one issue is the clip that actually holds them in um, tends to break and that's the only thing that really keeps these in the car. And, if you fall out and lose one, they're pretty much gone or destroyed. So even if the clip is in good shape, I always pull it out and I put a big fender washer right behind it. If the clip's still present and it does fail, it, that fender washer will keep it from pulling out and you're losing it. Um, and if the clips are already trashed and gone, you can completely get rid of them and just go ahead with the fender washer and a screw and that will hold them in. So I hope that helps some people. I've done that on several cars and I've never had an issue since doing it. So this should protect them for a long, long time. As I said, the 3M is about the thickest uh, protection film that I've found. Might not necessarily be a good thing. So if you guys have used something else that you prefer, uh, comment below because I'd love to see what you're using and I'd love to give it a shot if you got something you really like. So you guys know the drill. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you found it helpful because we're going to have a lot more tech tips coming up. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. We'll see you in the next one.